All right, got the uh, Traxxas TRX4 Blazer. Just installed the Pro Scale Advanced Lighting Control System on this truck. Pretty cool. Uh, it's fifty-five dollars for the kit. Part number is. TRA6591 There you go And you are going to need a installation kit so each TRX4 model comes with a different installation kit So the Blazer is going to take 8082 and that includes the reverse lights with it so pretty cool let's get into this looks pretty good now that's an uh, RC four-wheel drive light bar so that's not compatible with this system so that's gonna be on all the time but that's all right I don't mind the RC four wheel drive light bar is it's all metal, whereas the Traxxas ones are plastic. So, so I kind of like the looks of that one compared to a Traxxas light bar. So I'm gonna go. I'm I'm gonna go with that. All right. Before I pull all this body all the way off here, I just want to show where this uh, cable plugs into the the main unit here power unit power control unit so it goes right in there it's a little tricky kind of feeding this big thick wire underneath here to kind of get the body on compared to the old light kit but it's doable all right here we go yeah <laughs> I also forgot to add I am running this interior so when this um, makes it a little trickier to uh, get that cable fed through as well. As you can see, the other cable was easy, just a small uh, cable like this for the old uh, light uh, kit. So that would feed into the, uh, would plug into the old power module. And this had a little a little plug on it so it was easy to uh, just kind of plug right there on the old module but this is a big plug and a much thicker cable so it's a little trickier to get underneath this interior I have here and then feed the cable under but it's like I said it's doable it's doable all right let's get into installation here it's pretty easy as far as most of this goes now I'm running a lot of accessories. I'm running a sound kit and I'm running an RC four wheel drive winch and an RC four wheel drive light bar. And the sound kit is, uh, oh, this is for the winch, but I'm, you know, there's just lots of cables running everywhere. I try to make things look as tidy as I can. However, I just have a lot of stuff running <laughs> into my receiver here, so. Made it a little tricky. I had to do some uh, rearranging, but, you know, if you don't have any aftermarket accessories, it's going to be pretty simple. So you're going to want to run... I use the Max cable. You have a couple different options. You have a cable that... Um, specifically just to run things through the receiver and you can control everything through your module here or you can use this cable which is called the max cable and that plugs here and then it plugs into the center of your receiver show that real quick here we go so that's your, your max cable 
and then you can utilize using the uh, trackless link wireless module and got a reflection there so it's going to plug in right there on your receiver and then it's going to plug in right here on your module and then you're just going to want to uh, there's a uh, don't fall please trying to do this one-handed this again just trying to lift this battery up so you can see there's two screws right there you just need to take those out and this battery tray will tilt up and then you can run your wires underneath that battery tray and make it things nice and clean so that wire this max cable wire will run underneath the battery tray your power wire well, like I said I got different accessories going on from the sound kit so mine mine's gonna look a little bit different but the power wire here is running here out of the module and then it comes down here and then it plugs into your ESC and I've got a power like I said I got a sound kit so I've got a Y harness here so that I can run my run it into the sound kit and the the uh, power module for the light kit at the same time so I got a lot going on here myself but you've got your motor sensor wire here that plugs in there and that's going to come around up through here and then the, these are going to plug into your and you need to unhook your your um, motor plugs wires from the ESC and then these will just hook in here and hook in here and then you just plug everything back in and then put your shrink tubing back over top pretty easy like I said you're going to have to get into your receiver and you know obviously take off that and take off that so you got two screws here and you got three screws around here around one there one there and one over here so once you get those covers off you can plug in your max cable or do it the other way which is a little more involved i didn't do it that way you got you got to, this plugs into doo, doo, doo. you do it that way like this is showing you so that wire will plug into your servo wire uh, receiver communication cable that's the blue wire so that'll plug into channel one you got two channel ones so this is just your servo for your steering servo. Servo wire for your steering servo. Mm -hmm. And then of course this will plug into um, one of these ports, I don't remember. But anyway. Yeah, probably just plugs in the same place, I would think. It looks like the same. Looks like the same plug. So. And then this goes to your ESC. Like I said, I did not do it that way. Because I want to be able to control things from my transmitter and the app, so. I just use the max cable. Much cleaner, simpler setup. So I'm gonna. I don't like this. So I went with this. So that is that. Oh, I'm also running the uh, 
the rock lights as well. That's a, that's a Traxxas accessory. I'm going run that as well. I got a lot going on on this on this rig. A lot of aftermarket uh, aluminum on it too. I'm running a I forget who makes it. I found it on Amazon. It's a uh, I mean it's a metal front bumper and a metal metal rear bumper. I'm running RC four wheel drive uh, bumper mounts in here. EA Racing drive shafts front and rear. I've got skid plates all the way around. One there, one over the front pumpkin, and then one over the rear pumpkin. And then a center skid. You can't really see, but it's there. And it changed the shock oil out for a thicker I don't remember what I did but a little thicker fluid in those running some yay racing rock rails and metal so that's pretty cool but I got a lot going on with electronics going on here how it turned out. What do I do? I do. And you can control this is your signal button and you can either have your four-way flashers on or you can have signal lights on. And the mode button is just controlling whether you want daylight which is just um, no lights on. Or you can have Low beam or high beam. So you got those three different settings. So you can do that from here if you want to. So yeah. Oh yeah, and of course, because this is the TRX4 Blazer, I've also got these mini servos here that are for locking the rear in front differential so of course you've got several wires for those running in here so I've got a lot of wires running into and out of that thing so it's a tight squeeze to say the least so I think we'll get the body back on and then show how to work things through the app which is also very simple all right, so that's what the ProScale lighting distribution block looks like mounted on the inside of the body. Now the um, original light kit did come with a different distribution block that needs to come off. And that's why you need the installation kit because you need a you need a different bracket mounting. Uh, yeah, and you have the directions for that right here. It shows over here. the directions. So that's just gonna screw on there with two screws and of course those two screws there hold it down there and it screws into where the um, other side which is where the um, passenger um, door handle is. You know they'll give you some double-sided tape which will help to secure this end so your rear lights will plug in here or not your rear lights your um your backup lights plug in here and then your rear tail lights plug in here like so It's a really clean looking kit. It's a little pricey, but it's clean. It looks nice. And then your headlights and I don't remember 
remember exactly what that is. G and H. Yeah, headlight assembly and front turn signal harness. That's what G and H is. And then F is your rear integrated turn signal jumper. So that's um, it's supposed to go in there so you can, the rears can have turn signal turn signals. Mine's not working, I don't know why. I do have the original light kit that came out with this, so maybe I have the wrong the wrong LEDs for the taillights here. I don't know. The fronts work fine. And then so yeah. And that's basically it. Then you got other ports here that probably are it's probably for uh light bars and different things. Probably I think Traxxas makes a front light bar and a roof light bar for the TRX4. And um some other things. So there's Port D and B and E and K, M and N that things can be plugged into as well. So we'll see what comes out down the line. Maybe I can plug in some uh, different things on this. Although, I mean, this is all pretty much ready to go. So I don't know what else. Like I said, it must be, I know Traxxas makes some light bars so so yeah pretty cool That's the old uh, distribution uh, block that needs to come out. I'm showing you that that needs to come out. And then this one goes in place of it. So you can either do it down here and have everything off. So everything is off. And you can then hit low, and that'll put it on low beam. And then you can switch to high beam, like that. Those are quite a lot brighter. I don't really see myself needing high beams. There we go. And you can also do it from these toggles if you want to. So you can have go like that. And that turns headlights. So you just have aux. So that turns actually turns the headlights off. So then you have your side markers on. Your signal your side markers so you can do that. And then you can do... So that's kind of cool. You can turn the headlights off if you want to. It looks like you can't... turn everything off that way. Now you can do that. this. So right now I did that and now that turned off. 
everything but my light bar. Then you can turn this back on. Now I'll turn your headlights back on. Turn it off. Yep, put that on low. That turns everything back on again. Pretty cool. So I kind of like the fact that I can turn the headlights off if I want to. Still leave my signals and my side markers and my tail lights on. So that's pretty cool. Let's go low. All right. Very cool. Now one of the coolest things about this light kit, in my opinion, is got reverse lights. Adds to that scale realism. Just fired up my sound kit. Pretty cool. Now these are your signals. I think I'm going to turn off the headlights so you can see them a little bit better. So we'll come over here and we will turn off our headlights. There we go. All right. So you have the option to have signal lights. So. And that can be programmed from the block itself, and you can turn it on and off from the block. From the power module, I mean, not from the block, from the power module. And just give a little bit of input, don't go all the way, and that'll kind of turn them off. Now, for what it sounded, like in the directions, it was supposed to work for the rear as well. And as you can see, the driver's side turn signal is on up front, but it's not on in the back. And I've checked all my wiring and everything looks good. I'm thinking maybe I just have one of the older LEDs that's not, you know, capable of that. I don't know. No idea. It's not a huge deal. I don't really care that much. would be nice if it worked, I guess. That sounded like... Oh, that's the interior. looks pretty good. Look at the windows here. That's the uh, remote for my winch. And then the sound kit mounted up back there. Pretty cool. I almost forgot I'm running. Aluminum beadlocks and Rock Beast pit bull tires here. They hook up nice on the trail. Very nice. I do say so myself. So yeah. That's pretty much it for the light cut, I think. That's Signal in. Didn't turn it off yet.
There we go. Yeah. Pretty cool. Beyond the Blue RC. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and keep on RCing out there.